fashion lovers welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how to cut the inner for your iru and buba i've dropped a video on how to cut iru and buba you can put this inner um under your a-line gown under your booboo gown any kind of transparent clothes that you can't wear without putting something without wearing uh, something under yoruba call it shimmy uh, you call it underwear, you call it um, singlet, just like something you need to wear under your clothes. So there are different methods of cutting it, but I'll be showing you one of the method now, which if I have time, I can also drop another video on how to cut another one. But this one is a straight method, which everyone can learn from. So now the material we are going to use to cut this is one and a half yard of doll face. You can use chiffon, you can use taffeta. It depends on the cost, the uh, of the on the cost of uh, the your clients will be paying you for. So this one now, the silver one you are seeing here is also. I'm also using this too for an inner for someone too. But this one, I don't know if I will have time to do the video. But this is another type of it. I'm using this one too as another video. So all you need to do is just your bust measurement, your waist measurement, and add two inches to the measurement are you getting it just add two inches to the measurement and also if you are cutting an inner it depends on the so the material we are using is one and a half yards of material so what i did to this coat is just to take this one and a half yard you can see this is the measurement of the one and a half you just take your one and a half into two and fold it into four are you seeing it if you are if you are cutting this for someone like me if i don't want my um my underwear to be long you understand if i don't want the inner of the clothes to be long i can just make it 40 by length like just a gown length but if i want it to be long i can make it 45 50. but for this uh iru and buba i'm using this as an inner for i want to make it um 50 inches for the length of the inner so now what i'm just going to do is just to measure the person's bust and add two inches to it the person's hip and add two inches to it so now so now after i folded the clothes into four what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop five inches there are some um inner if they want to cut it you can just measure the next side measure the shoulder let's assume the shoulder is seven eight inches they'll measure the arm o do the arm o measurements Put the neck what i notice about this cutting is that most times it's normally show whenever they wear it it will just be coming outside after the neckline so the inner will be showing what i mean is it will be showing outside your clothes so into wasabi mama show labi show i don't know how to translate that in english anyway so what you need to do is i like doing it as an off shoulder because if you do it as an off shoulder it will make it firm it won't be the underwear inside won't be showing outside your clothes you understand so i just you just drop five inches just like an off shoulder cutting an off shoulder drop five inches then they measure your half length the half length of this person is 17 inches so you measure the person's half length you measure the hip line which i'm going to be using 25 as the hip line so you measure a bust measurement which i'm going to use um, nine inches as a boss as a chest line measurement so on top of here i'm going to measure a boss a boss is 40 this is 40 inches and i'll add two inches one inches is for the so that it will be free for ease so that it will be easy to wear because it won't have zip it's just an inner for your clothes and also one inch will be the word seam allowance for the waist side you also do the same thing and our waist is what our waist is 34 so 34 divided by 4 is what eight and a half you measure the eight and a half you also add one inch for ease and one inch for same allowance make sure what you are taking there is the actual one inch you measured and our hip is what 45 inches which is what 11 and quarter so you measure the 11 and quarter and you also add um one inch for ease and one and, and um one inch for seam allowance one inch for this and one inch for side allowance and make sure you measure you take the allowance complete so now after that you connect this together you connect this together it's not necessary you follow your hip line you can just straighten your hand you know it's a free something it will surely pack your hip measurements 
if you start following the hip line you will see that it will just have like, like a bulge at the side of the hip it's not necessary you follow your hip line just take it downward you take it downward and before i go far i after dropping the five inches just measure it to the length the required length you'll be using for your for your inner i'm using 50 for this so i'll just measure that 50 inches i'll line the 50 can you see that so on the next side here i'm going to me measure five inches for the wideness you can make you can use five you can use 4.5 but five inches is not bad i'm going to measure um five inches for the wideness of my neck okay let me use 4.5 let me use 4.5 for the wideness of my neck then i'll add two inches to it here these two inches serve like like a shoulder do you get then from these two inches you slant it to your arm or measurement so on top of these five inches which you you've measured you come down by you can come down by seven you can come down by eight it depends but i would like to come down what by what seven inches are you seeing it so when you turn it it becomes 7.5 can you see it can you see it so here we we'll just take another strip of clothes use it to tape these two inches in i'll show you how to cut that and i'll also show you what it looks like after cutting you can you can lower this down by eight inches you see the neck of your inner actually depends on the kind of style the clothes you are wearing the inner in width like now if you are sewing a booba that the neckline is four by four definitely the length of the neck the ne length of the neckline is four inches definitely seven inches will be okay for your inner you understand so you don't use because you are using your neckline of the clothes you want to wear on top of your inner for uh four inches and you make the inner two four inches it's it will just come up you make sure it's go down so that it will be showing like as if you you are putting on brow or putting on inner you understand now like camisole abi all right so just let me cut it out so you see what it looks like so this is how it looks like you can see the neckline the front and back neck line is the same thing the front and back neck is the same thing is equal this is the arm o measurement what i'm going to do is just to to take uh the strip of the clothes now you can see just measure you can just use this one because after you turn this with bias and turn this with bias too this thing will be left with like one inch you understand so you just take this you know we drop five inches so when you add five plus five it gives you thing you don't need to add anything to it just leave it that way just measure your 10 inches back you understand don't add anything any allowance to it just use your 10 inches just use your 10 inches without adding anything you see so this is it you understand so you just what you just do is just to take it to your machine oh dear and turn it then you join it to this just join it straight just join it like this after you turn this one with bias just join it this one is very simple just turn it and join it join the side with the one inch allowance you did it's very 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 simple i will show you what it looks like after sewing it so here comes to the finishing of my inner you can see the way it looks like i just joined this place turn it out then i join it to the sewing here firstly what i did was the side seam at uh, the arm o i turn it with bias as you can see the neckline i turn it with bias as you can see also the side i join it with one inch but the hip side i use half inch because you can see when i was cutting the hip side i did not follow the measurements because it will look puffy at the side if, I'm, if i follow the measurements and you know it's just an inner so after joining it i fix the hand you know after joining the arm or the neckline i just fix the hand i attach the hand after turning it and this is how it looks like and you see so now i'll show you and the down part i folded the down part as you can see just folded the down part so let me show you how it looks like on the dummy see the beauty of our inner our underwear our shimmy our camisole anyhow you can call it anyhow you understand this can you see 
how it looks like it's very simple to make so don't forget to continue liking comment share and subscribe to my channel so it depends on how you want your own lane to be you can see so watch out for the next uploading video I'll be uploading soon thank you